So question 217, leak code, encode and decode strings. So design an algorithm to encode a list of strings to a string. The encoded string is then sent over the network and is decoded back to the original list of the strings. Machine one sender has the function and returns the encoded string. And then machine two, the receiver will be returning the strings as an array of strings. So string two in machine two should be the same as strings in machine one implement the encode and decode methods, you're not allowed to solve the problem using any serialized methods such as eval. Okay, so the ex the examples, pretty much we have some dummy data and it's gonna be outputting the exact same results. Okay, so the input is going to be the exact same as the output here, but it's just encoding and decoding that, that we need to worry about. So we have strings, which is equal to an array of strings and we need to somehow encode them into a string that decode can then use to convert back into a list of arrays. So two separate sections of this There's encode. Now, how do we usually convert an array of strings into strings? Well, we just join them, right? So we could say strings dot join and we could join by, let's say, encode string. So that will encode it. That will convert this array into just one string that is concatenated. So hello will be concatenated with world by encode string. So it'll look something like this. We need to take into consideration that strings could be equal to null. So if strings.length is equal to null, then we just return null, okay? Because we always need to return something in order for it to be decoded. And then within decode, we need to check if the string being passed in is equal to null, which we created up here in encode. So remember, if there's nothing within strings, return null. In here, it takes it in. We check to see if it's null, if it is, we return null, we return an empty array. And in order to convert this, in order to convert this right here back into an array of strings, so we wanna convert it back into that, we just do strings.split and we split by encode string. Okay, so let's write this out. So if strings.length is null, then we return null. We have to return something here. Otherwise, we can return strings.join and we can join by encode strings. As long as you make sure the value here that you're concatenating the strings by is unique, then you'll be fine. Now, this will be passed into the decode function. So we need to check if s is equal to null because up here we could potentially return a case where it's equal to null. So we need to account for that. We can return back an empty array. Otherwise, split the string at encode string. And that is it. So let's, let's run this, see if it's worked. Okay, let's submit it. And there you have it. 